Uh, good morning. Today is Monday, uh, September the 14th. Um, and I'm looking at doing another one day trade here. I'm going to use the uh, e mini futures today, I believe. The intraday margin is pretty favorable at Tastyworks right now. They've they turned it off for a little bit during this market volatility. But <clears throat> obviously, from a market standpoint here, um, We've got the 50-day moving average that the market's come down. It's held that level for several trading days. Big, big bounce today to the upside. Um, and this trend to the upside is just powering today. We're at about 8.08 a.m. Mountain Time. So just a little over a half hour into today's trading session. But obviously you can see um, what that day looks like so far. It has absolutely been a rocket ship. I'm watching this 3,400 level. So the question is, are we gonna get above 3,400 today? <clears throat> and my feeling is that we won't. We're already up 60 points uh, on the futures. That's a pretty decent bounce to the day. Boy, I would love to do a trading day <laughs> on the futures zero data expiration and not have to do a bunch of uh, adjustments. And so I'm going to try to be patient here on my initial um, uh, entry trade. I, I am going to try to, I think, enter on the call side, on the weak side. Obviously, it's the strong side to the market, but it would be the weak side for us as a trader. Generally speaking, you want to sort of follow that strength. And so you'd be putting in the put leg as the market's moving away from you. Uh, or vice versa, if the market was falling, you'd be putting in the call leg. <clears throat> but I think that we're going to have some trouble breaking above that 3,400 level. So I'm going to continue to watch this here uh, for maybe the next hour or so. I'm thinking maybe 9, 9.30 uh, is probably going to be the time to look at putting this leg in. Uh, of course, that's all dependent on you know how the market continues to advance. It's just continuing right now. Uh, that advance up and so we'll continue to watch this here but I'd like to be very patient and do a very uh, uh, minimal number of adjustments today. It's 822 now we're continuing to push higher uh, right here I thought we were going to have these are five minute uh, candlesticks I thought right here about 15 minutes ago we were going to have a little bit of capitulation this uh, big green candle right here actually turned negative uh, before it finished positive uh, and it's again still pause it, it's still powering to the upside uh, that's a big big bullish indicator right there we keep pushing up and my feeling is that we're going to have a tough time uh, NASDAQ is up 279 points right now the futures on the NASDAQ is up 279 281 now um, <clears throat> up 66 bucks on the S&P minis uh, I, my feeling is that we're going to have a hard time pushing above that psychological 3,400 level. So we're just patient right now. We're patient. Uh, I just One trade is all we need. We don't need to do 27 corrections and adjustments and alterations to have a successful day today. We just need to, need to sort of let this uh, market burn itself out here. At some point, we're going to stop this upward pressure, and uh, that's going to be my cue to put in a call leg. And that may be the only trade I need to do today on that strategy. So I think we're getting close there. Again, I don't think we're going to push above that thirty, that psychological 3,400 level. But we're continuing that drive to it. Okay, I went ahead and I uh, got a fill on this. Um, it, we did hit that 3,400 level there. Sort of hit that resistance that I thought we would see at that level. Are starting to bounce back down. And so I did go ahead and uh, put in this order right here. Uh, I sold 12 of the 3420s and bought 12 of the 3430s. Uh, you can see, where is my activity? There's my activity right there. I didn't get the best feel on that. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I could have gotten a buck 20 on that. Uh, but, you know, if you replicate the order, if you look at it at a buck 15, um, it's about a $4,500 order, bringing in around $600. Uh, so I like the numbers on the trade, and uh, I like the range. I, I think we're okay on the range there. Um, you know, one of two things is going to happen. We're going to continue our rise up, and then I'm going to have to mitigate this trade by hedging on the downside uh, as the first step, and then ultimately we would have to move the uh, top leg. 
uh, or we're going to hold this level and come back down, which is what I would hope is going to happen here. And then uh, maybe I can put in a put leg here in a little bit and garner some extra profit there. So we'll just watch it as the day goes by. It's about 9.22 and uh, so far so good. It looks like, uh, at least so far, obviously, still a ton of day left in the day, <clears throat> but it does seem like we kind of hit that top up there and we've been backing off ever since then. Uh, and, and that's worked out well uh, for this position. We are up uh, uh, quite a bit on the trade uh, so far. I think, again, I executed this at a buck 15 and right now it's selling for about 90 cents is the mid price there so that's working in our direction again uh, not a massive sell-off here but we have sort of come back down from that high so we timed that fairly well i want to go ahead and try to put in a put leg here uh maybe a little earlier than i had anticipated because i just you know there's a lot of strength in today's marketplace i don't anticipate that we're going to have a huge sell-off uh, to the downside. And so I'm looking at something like, well, let's clear these out here. What I was going to do, I'm going to put in like maybe this three, uh, the 75 and the 65s, the 33 75s, the 33 65s. That might be a little tight. Uh, maybe one down. There we go. 33 70s, 33 60s. Um, and I'm going to try, it's showing the net price around 70 to 75 cents, mid price is 85 to 90. I'm going to price this at 90. Uh, well, let's put in our 12 contracts. So I'm going to price it at 90 and uh, that would be another $500 on, in on that trade. Um, pretty far from that price right now. Nat price, as I said, is 70 cents. I'm pricing this at 90 cents. So this is just going to be an order that's going to sit in here. And I'm going to let that sit right now. I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, and if we come down a little bit, we probably have to come down, I think, maybe seven points um, to get into execution range on that. But I'm going to place that right now just uh, as a precursor to whatever we're going to be doing on the downside. Well, well, just before the 10 o'clock hour here, and uh, we are, we, we did hit that trade pretty nicely in terms of timing. Uh, obviously, we've kind of hit that top there, and that's when we put our call leg in. <clears throat> we've had a little bit of oscillation, but not really any sell-off uh, to speak of. <clears throat> I've got this put leg trade in here that I was uh, hoping would trigger at 90 cents. Yeah, we're not even close to that right now. And so as sort of a middle of the road, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of a middle of a road approach here. I'm going to cancel that order. And uh, I'm just going to do sort of, sort of what I like to call just a middle of the road trade where I'm not going to fully commit to the put site on here. I'm going to come in a little closer. I'm going to do the 380s by the 370s. That's showing a nap price of 105, mid price of 125. Uh, but I'm not going to do the full 12 contracts. I'm just going to put in six contracts right now uh, because <clears throat> I believe, you know, even though we've got strength here, I believe that that's fairly close uh, in terms of where we generally want to be. Uh, but I'm going to try to do this, show a nap price now of 95 cents. Try to get 105 on this and see. That would be 200 and, yeah, I get the 105. Another 275 bucks in on the trade, and obviously we've still got some room there to work. So um, my total credit right now on this trade is about $1,000. Got about 800, <clears throat> 800 of it still as extrinsic value. And I do have the ability here uh, to still work some on the put side. Uh, so just kind of a, a halfway approach to fulfilling this trade probably don't want to wait more than another hour, maybe 11 o'clock to just sort of see how the day goes to figure out uh, what I need to do uh, from the remainder part of that put trade. Okay, it's about 10.35 and uh, the sell-off, I wouldn't call it a sell-off, but it's, it's the, the backing off is continuing here and it's putting me in a little bit of a negative delta position here um, on that trade. Not too bad right now. 
but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually load up a little bit more on the call side here uh, and then have my dry powder be available for the put side. Obviously, I want to get that put side fully filled out because I have the buying power to do it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to just add here a little bit to the call side. Just three contracts would be about another $1,100, bringing in about $100 uh, of income on that. Nat is $0.70. Cents. I'm going to try to get a mid price of $0.80. Cents. Uh, that'd be 100 bucks bringing in. And I did get that filled. So there's another $100 uh, of potential income added to that trade, but I'm up to about $6,200 of capital now committed to that trade. Uh, puts me now more of a negative delta there, which is the direction that the market is currently trending. And then I'm looking here at maybe adding a put leg right in here. And let's see how many I can do. Watch that, watch that buying power right there. Watch that, how that affects my buying power. Uh, it should increase my buying power, increase my buying power, increase it, increase it. So as long as we can try to stay as delta neutral as possible, we can do this without adding to our buying power cost. That's about the limit right there is nine contracts. If I did uh, 10 contracts, you can see now I got to come up with $388 versus before I'm actually increasing my buying power uh, by about 30 bucks. So we are continuing to trend down here. So I'm going to hold on here just a little bit before I put in that put leg to make sure that I have the right distancing on that. Uh, and we'll just watch. This is very controlled. You know, it's not, I wouldn't call this necessarily a downtrend. I think we just hit that high of the day and we're backing off now. Uh, but we do want to make sure that we are close on that because if I look right now at the way we're positioned. It has altered a little bit here. Um, uh, we're not too badly positioned here, but remember we were we were right up in here. We were right up in here uh, just an hour or so ago. So we did time that call leg pretty perfect right now so far. And then of course we need to utilize that extra buying power, that leverage that we have to do something on the put side. It's about 10.37 now. Uh, I'll try to maybe look at it at 11 o'clock. And that might be maybe 11, 11.30 is probably the latest in the day before we start running out of premium there. Okay, we're just about at that 11 o'clock hour. 11.30 is usually, you know, ideally would be the last uh, adjustment or trade that you would do on the day because you just start running out of premium uh, any later than that in the day. Uh, we are continuing to come down here a little bit. This slide is very muted, but it is obviously to the downside. And that's, you know, it's starting to pressure. Now we've gone from that negative delta. I build in that negative delta to compensate for that by selling these additional call options up here. And uh, we're back now to a positive delta. It's just moving more uh, in that direction, obviously much closer to the put side than the call side. And so I think, you know, there's a couple of things that we can do here. If you look at the chart, you can say, well, you know, it does look like we're bottoming here on stochastics. Um, we've got our VWAP all the way down here, though. And so, you know, if you say, well, you know, this is maybe the slide down here. Now is maybe the opportune time to come in here and uh, put in those additional put legs. That might be uh, true. That might be the case as well. I think maybe the more conservative way here for me is to close uh, this large profitable call spread that's up here and drop that down a little bit. And that would bring us uh, back into line, I think, uh, a little bit more. And so if I look at that, let's just look at my activity there. I sold that call leg for a buck 15. Let's see what we could uh, exit that at. Around 40 cents. I would take that if I could get it out at 40 cents. I would take that. So I'm going to put in that order at 40 cents. And I'm not quite there uh, in terms of pricing. Mid midpoint is about 45. So I'm going to let that sit for just a moment here. Uh, again, ideally up to about 11.30. So when the last uh, couple of adjustments would be done. 
So I've got a little bit of time to work with here. Okay, that order hit. Uh, it's about 11.08 right now, and that order did finally fill. I did not think I'd get a fill on that, but I did. So again, we were able to sell those 12 contract that uh, call spread earlier in the morning at buck fifteen. I just bought it back at 40 cents, 12 contracts, and I want to redo that now. And I'm going to drop down to this level, the smaller contracts that I already have in place. And uh, that's at an app price of 40 cents right now. So I might have to go just a little bit lower right in there. That's showing an app price of 75 cents. I'm going to try to get 80 cents on this. Uh, 13 contracts, that'd be 500 bucks, 400 bucks after commission. I'm going to send that at 80 cents and I get that filled. So I am now filled there uh, at 80 cents. So that's a little bit of price improvement over what I thought I would be at originally. You can see where we're at now uh, in relationship to the trade. We still have not loaded up fully on the put side. So you see that sort of reflected there. We are still obviously closer to the put side. However, now we have the ability here uh, buying power wise. I don't know that this is the spread that I would do, but I just wanna see how many contracts I could get in there without lowering my buying power uh, whew, almost another 11 down there on that side that would of course make our risk graph look something like this still a little close here I'm gonna just hold off here until about that 1130 hour and see where we're at there but now if we look at our trade you can see that um, we've got uh, about a hundred dollars that we've booked on the day about $1,250 of extrinsic value still open and available there. So could be, could be, knock on wood, a really nice day for us. Again, watching the movement of that and just seeing it continue to come down here. So we might wanna just uh, wait for a little bit on those puts. It's 11.15 right now, and we're coming right down on top of the daily VWAP. And so we'll see if that holds. You know, that's generally a pretty good level of uh, buying or selling pressure throughout the day. If that holds, then I am inclined to go ahead and put some more puts down here and fill out that put leg of the trade. Uh, if it doesn't hold, we're going to ratchet down the calls even more. Well, we definitely didn't hold. We popped down a little bit below that, but it does look to me like we're going to still have some strength in this day. And so rather than rolling my calls down first here, I'm going to take advantage of some of this weakness. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in another put leg down here. Looks like I can do about nine contracts. Um, probably shoot for around that 70 price point uh, without adding to my cost into the trade. Be another 250 bucks in the trade and I get that filled at 75 cents. If we look at this now, let's look at it in the curve, get an idea of where we're at. You can see obviously we're much closer now to the put leg uh, but we've been able to extend that out. So I'm going to look at rolling the call leg down as well. Uh, this call leg right here that we filled at 80 cents, these three contracts at 80 cents. If we go look at those right now. I believe I could exit those for let's, maybe 15 cents. Uh, well, we don't have buying power to do that. So I'm going to have to free up both sides of the trade here to do that. I've used pretty much all of my buying power, obviously. So I'm going to sit here and watch this for just a moment here uh, before, let's look at it in the curve, before we make any decisions on what we do with this put leg right here. We're still showing uh, up about $200 on the day on this. Well, we're about the noon hour here, two hours left in the trading day, and we're still sticking around this VWAP line. Well, which is, uh, you know, what probabilities would say would happen, of course. That's the whole idea behind it uh, in terms of measuring buying and selling pressure. Uh, our positions right now are looking pretty solid, pretty darn solid, actually. Showing about $700 profit 
on the day on that, but a thousand dollars of extrinsic value still sitting out there. So, so much extrinsic value. This is the trade that I was going to look at doing. I was going to look at taking off these uh, short term puts here. I was going to take those off. That would bring us right back. Now, I don't have any buying power, so I got to balance that trade out by taking off six of the calls up in here. Uh, but that would balance the trade out nicely again. But if I don't have to do that, if I don't have to give up $700 of potential profit to do that, I, I don't want to do that. If I just remove that trade, you can kind of see where we're at right now. Obviously, a lot closer to that put side than the call side. But we got two hours left. And as long as we can kind of hold around this VWAP line, I think we might be okay. But we might have to come in and do that adjustment. So we'll check back in here in about an hour or so. We're at about at that one o'clock hour and we are selling off again here, back down to uh, obviously not the lows of the day, but from where we've started on the top end, we're at the low of the day from uh, looking at it from that standpoint. And uh, just still up about $600 on the trade, but I think I might want to go ahead and take off this leg of the puts and because I'm Pretty much out of buying power. I need to take off six of the call legs as well. I'm just going to remove those. Uh, I think that's probably the prudent way to go. We'll see what kind of a fill we can get here. We're way off. Let's replace this, come up to maybe 310. And I get a fill at 305. Okay. So that takes a little bit of that pressure on the downside off of me. We still are showing about $600 profit for the day. I've got about another hundred or so of extrinsic left there. And uh, it, it looks pretty well positioned for right now. I'm gonna take a look here and see if there's anything else I can add, but I think we might be done for the day here. About 117 now, about 40, 45 minutes left in the trading day. And we're continuing to see this downdraft here it was a prudent thing to do. It was the right thing to do to take off that one pull leg. Uh, we're still fairly well positioned here and uh, don't have a ton of exposure on that pull leg. There's, I, I do have obviously some buying power now um, uh, after we closed out those legs, but uh, there's not enough time in the day. There's no premium left really in the day. Uh, to do anything, even though I'd like to maybe move these call legs down, but that would still put us positioned fairly well <clears throat> for the day, <clears throat> showing a daily profit right now of about $700. Got about $100 of extrinsic value still out there, so maybe $800 on the day. We'll see. We're 45 minutes away. We'll check in uh, at the close. Well, there we go. There's the close for the day, folks, and we finished nicely inside of our range. You know, uh, it's the woulda, coulda, shouldas of trading, right? Obviously could have left that put leg on there that we took off. Uh, but it's interesting. I made a lot more money on the last zero data expiration trade that I showed you guys um, percentage-wise based on how much capital I was trading. I think I was trading 5,000 capital then, maybe 6,000 now. But uh, hated that trade. Like it was a sloppy trade. It, it was, uh, I didn't follow my exit strategies and we left that trade on a little bit too long. And basically some luck came into play. This trade was a solid trade. Um, we didn't need to take that put leg off in hindsight now, but at the moment it was the right thing to do. It was the prudent thing to do. And my goodness, we still end up with a solid, solid day. Uh, it obviously hasn't settled yet. So about $825 profit on the day. Now, I've only got about $3,900 capital um, in the trade right now. At one point, I was up to $6,200 before I pulled those one legs off. So I'm going to call it... I'm going to call it basically a $5,000 trade, bringing in $825 for the day. Not a bad day, guys. 